We're going to go through a real simple example here where we tie a Velocio PLC to an advanced HMI uh, program. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start out by creating a new project. And you can see here I'm going to just use an ACE222, but we can do this with any of our PLCs. Um, we're, we're not going to do a whole lot logic-wise because uh, we really just need to be able to tie some data you know, from one side to the other side. Uh, so we'll, we'll just do one or so functions, but what we're going to do is we'll, we'll pull up the Modbus tool. We need to get some addresses to, um, to some tags so that we can, we can interact with them on the advanced HMI side. So what we'll do is we'll have one input bit that, that will just, um, it'll be one of our digital inputs. And in my case, I have a, a switch tied to it so I can, I can turn it on and off and, and quickly see what's going on. I'll be able to read that on the HMI side. And we'll also take a digital output, um, which is in, you, we could have used a register or anything, um, but we'll use digital output so I can see the LED turn on when, when it's active. Um, anytime you want to write to to a, a, a register, whether it's an output or an internal register, you need to be sure to have the remote writable flag checked. So now you can see it's writable. And on the uh, for non-bit data, we, we use this, this side over here. The numbers can overlap, so you can have a 1 over here and you can have a 1 over here. That's fine. No problem. So we'll read in one of our analog inputs from this board. And we'll also create something just to have a different data type. We'll call it, uh, we'll call it float one, and I'll define it as a float. And this is the one place we'll use a little bit of logic. You'll see. Let me point out the addresses so you'll 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 have them um, when, when you get further along in this example. Wait just a second for this to pop up. And you'll see that the input bit was one, the output was two. The uh, I16 input was one, and the floating point was addresses two and three. So we're going to need that in the next part of our example. But we're going to create this float by taking the output. We'll make that the float one, and the input we'll just take uh, in I16A1, and we'll do plus 0.1. So it's just going to be 0.1 higher than the regular uh, input from our analog. Port. And now I'm going to program it, and I'm going to run it, and we will pick up with this in the second example.